Hello everyone, my name is Bree and welcome to Document to Journey. Today is day 24 of Create December and the prompt today is love. I wanted to start off this video by saying the prompt for me means that I love my life. That is the most important thing to me um, and I wanted to explain what my 2019 looks like with the idea of loving my life. So I'm going to just kind of walk you through my thoughts, okay, and give you a little demonstration at the same time. <laughs> okay, so as you all know, I have been on a simplifying journey, and I went from a B6 like this to a field note size. And the reason I did this is because I couldn't keep up with, you know, the B6 size. I, I wanted to draw and document all the things, but it was just so big. The page itself was too big. And so um, I switched to the, to the field notes because, one, it's a smaller size and I can accomplish something in a day, like a page or a spread in a day, and it not be overwhelming. And two, it's such an easier carry. Uh, it's a lot more portable than the B6. And for right now, this works in my life and for my lifestyle. So I've moved away from B6, which I started B6 about a year ago. If you watch my other Create December videos and just like videos uh, about a year ago, I was all B6 and um, I have fallen in love with field notes. And here's where I'm at. This is my second field notes uh, notebook that I am almost done with. I would say that I will be done with this um, probably around the end of January. So that's kind of that journey with my illustrated journal. And after chatting with Robin, we both kind of decided that um, we wanted to try a new written journal size together. She and I first had different reasons with why we were going to um, move into this size. Um, you know, I have always been in a B6. I have noticed that all I wanna do is, again, same with my illustrated journal, I want to fill up that page. And that's just impossible with the time that I have in my life right now. So instead, we have decided on a six together. And this decision was not made lightly. I decided that um, I was gonna do this because again, I am trying to pare down everything. I'm trying to simplify this life that I have because the more simple it gets, the easier it becomes, the more fun it becomes, and the more time I have for all the loves in my life, right? So I had told her that, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna, i do the A6 with you. I'm gonna use it though as my full-time journal. I get one page a day, that's it. If, um, if I do have something that I need to write more on, then maybe I'll tip in a page, but for the most part, I'm giving myself one page a day. And she had thought, okay, I think that I'm going to do the A6 as well, but I might just use it for gratitude because I need to start focusing on the good things in my life. So we had the same idea. We just haven't, weren't going about it the same way until she watched a video by Sam Plans. So I will link Sam Plans' video in the description box for you, but her video was all about journaling through anxiety. I also have a video about journaling from anxiety that I posted about a year ago as well, and I can list that in the description box for you just so you can kind of see two different mindsets on that. We both watched that, and after I watched that, I just realized that she made some really great points, and simplifying my decision like I said, to move into the A6 only gives me a page a day, and I'm ready for that. I'm, I'm ready for the page a day. So this brings me to why, I guess. Um, I am doing this because, like I said, I only have so much time in my day, and I have many passions and things that I love, and I want to start enjoying those things, getting out of my journal and living in my real life. So that is kind of where I'm going at for 2019. These two notebooks are it. Um, I do have a few covers that I will show you. Um, this guy is, <laughs> this is um, Ron and uh, Robin has given me him and he always sits in one of my journals. He's like a journal protector. <laughs> 
but um, I have a few covers that I have had and purchased just recently. So I wanted to kind of show you this. This cover I purchased when I first used the A6 in 2016. And um, I, however, as much as I love it, this is, I want to put this back on my uh, 2016 Hobonichi. So that's probably where that will be going. So I'll set that aside. I, I like the idea of having these in their covers. I like the idea of starting this A6 and um, every year just getting itself a new cover and going from there. So we'll see how that process goes. You know how crazy we can get. This is technically my cover for this year. I got the matcha and I'm waiting on a cover on cover. And at the moment, you know how that goes. It's um, crazy busy time of the year, so it's stuck somewhere. I don't even know where it's stuck, but I'm patiently waiting. So this is going to be its cover for, um, hopefully its main cover for 2019. I did However, purchase this one, which I absolutely love, and I kind of teased you on Instagram. So was it the flower or the bird? We'll see if you were right. I got the bird. Um, I, You know, this cover just really spoke to me, and I just thought that uh, if I want to rotate in and out, this would be the cover that I want to rotate in and out of, and it will kind of be like my, I don't know, just like I said, the cover I rotate in and out of. And um, I'm excited to see this year's process. Robin and I are doing a no spend or like, kind of like a no spend. It's not really a no spend, but we're gonna check each other, if you know what I mean. So um, we are doing that. And I'm excited to see kind of where this process goes. I'm excited to see how much creativity I can kind of gain from this. Anytime I do want to like do something like this, I always end up having like a ton of creativity juices flowing. So I'm excited to see where that goes. Uh, this sticker, I will link the uh, seller in the description box, but I got it from Studio Six, but I'll link the artist in the description box for you. I absolutely love this sticker. It's beautiful. So um, yeah, this is our A6 journey. Um, Robin is also posting a video just um, kind of similar to this on her channel, and I will um, link her video in the description box when that goes live too, so that way you can go check it out um, and see her thoughts on kind of where she's going for 2019 as well. And I'm very excited. Oh, we gotta put Ron in here, man. He's the protector of the journals, so there he goes. So yeah, um, I am taking a short break on YouTube. I hope you guys enjoy your holidays. I hope you enjoy your Christmas, if you celebrate Christmas. And I will be back around the 7th of January. So until then, everybody, I'll see ya. I'm fixing this back up. Okay.